In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Being alive unto God. Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Matthew 10, verse 32 and 33. How is it? Are we confessing Christ in our daily life? Do we confess Him in our dress, adorning ourselves with plain and modest apparel? Is our adoring that of a meek and quiet spirit, which is of so great a price in the sight of God? Are we seeking to advance the cause of the Master? Is the line of demarcation between you and the world distinct, or are you seeking to follow the fashions of this degenerate age? Is there no difference between you and the whirling? Does the same Spirit work in you that works in the children of disobedience? If we are Christians, we shall follow Christ even though the path in which we are to walk cuts right across our natural inclinations. There is no use in telling you that you must not wear this or that, for if the love of these vain things is in your heart, your laying off your adornments will only be like cutting the foliage off a tree. The inclinations of the natural heart would again assert themselves. You must have a conscience of your own. Oh, did we remember that Christ became poor, that we through his poverty might become rich? Would we not seek to honor his name and advance his cause? We are to abide in him as the branch abides in the vine. Jesus says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit so shall ye be my disciples. John 15 verses 5 through 8. If we fulfilled this command of our Lord, there would be a different state of affairs in our churches, and we should know what it is to have the deep movings of the Spirit of God. What we want is to have the axe laid at the root of the tree. We want to be dead to the world, dead to self, and alive unto God. Our life must be hid with Christ in God, that when He shall appear, we also may appear with him in glory. We need to come close to Christ, that men may know that we have been with Christ and learned of him. Keep your eye fixed upon Christ. With humility of mind, seek for a nearness to God. In words, in conduct, in life, confess Christ.